Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lennon back with another CSR2 video. Today we are checking out the Iron Maiden. We are going to do a stage five shift in tune, stage six maxed out shift in tune. We're gonna see if we can find a live racing setup for this car and do a review as well. And thank you to YouTuber Nitro for CSR to access to the account so we can teach you all about the cars and let you know if they're any good. Let's go ahead and start off with the maxed out shift and tune. So when the car is 100% maxed out, put your nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0, tire pressure all the way down to eight PSI. And that gives us a, a 7.097. And if we're lucky, we might be able to get in the 7.0s, but it's pretty hard to do. To drive this car, you wanna let go of the gas right before it launches, the needle is going to kick back. As soon as you get the kickback, you're gonna hit second and nitrous and all the shifts right before the red line. So let's go do it to it just like this. Three, two, one, go second nitrous, third, and that's it. That's it, very, very, very easy, right? Super easy to drive, but you do have to get the kickback to get down in the 7.0s. And that seems to be about the fastest time we're getting is in the 7.05s or the 7.06s, but it's what it is. So that's what it is right there. Yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the stage five shift in tune. So when you fit this thing back to stage five parts only, this is how we're going to tune it and drive it on stage five. We are just going to go ahead and keep the nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0. Tire pressure on 8 PSI, and that's going to give us an 8.957 on the dyno time. And to drive it on stage 5, it's the stage, same thing as stage 6. Basically, let go of the gas right before launch. The needle's going to kick back, then hit second and nitrous, and then shift into third right before the red line, and that's it. So, here we go, here we go. 3, 2, 1... Go second nitrous. Oh, I messed it up. So it'll be interesting to see what we run, but I did not get the kickback. But you want to get the kickback just like you saw there when I did it on stage five. So I let go of the gas just a little bit too soon or a little bit too late, and that made the car run slower. The last run was an 8.897 with the kickback, and without we got an 8.937. So Let's go ahead and do one more run and try that again and see if we can get it right. This car is a little bit of a little bit of a pain just to get that kickback, but you know, you want to make sure you get it. Three, two, one, go. There it was. Second nitrous. Third. And that's all she wrote. Super easy to drive, but it is a little is a little finicky for that kickback. So that's the only thing I don't like is it is just a little bit finicky, but so far it's a pretty cool car. Then we got an 8.914. Let's go ahead and uh, set this thing up for live racing. All right, so if you wanna set the car up for live racing, this is how we're gonna set it up. The good news is we don't really need any stage six parts. All we gotta do is go to our engine and set that to stock. Go to your turbo, set that back to stock. Same thing with your intake, put it back to stock. Put your nitrous on stage three, put your body on stage five, tires on stage three, and put your transmission on stage four, and this is how we're gonna tune it. Nitrous all the way to the right, final drive 2.27, tire pressure eight PSI, and that's gonna put us right about in the 11.2 lobby, meaning we wanna run the car to drive at 11.2, not faster, not slower, we wanna get as close to 11.2 as possible. If we start getting into the 11 ones, it might put us down in the 11 zero lobby and then the car won't be able to win live races anymore. So we wanna run it at 11.2 exactly if possible or slightly slower. So we're still gonna drive it the same way. Let go of the gas right before it launches. The needle's going to kick back, second and nitrous, and then third right before the red line. But if you don't get the kickback, it will run just a little bit slower, but it'll probably still do okay, but it does run better with the kickback. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. No kickback, second and nitrous. 
if you do get the kickback, you're going to have to downshift and slow down before you cross the finish line. But we're just going to go ahead and leave it like this so you can see what it runs without the kickback. But you just saw it twice in a row with the kickback, so you guys get how that works. But it will run in the 11 zeros with the kickback, and it will run in the mid 11 twos without it. So, yeah. That's pretty much the deal right there. That That's how to set it up and drive it for live racing. And yeah, that's it. That's the deal right there. Now, if you want, you can probably throw a stage six transmission and a stage six body on there if you have it. And then tune it to the nearest two tenth of a second. So those lobbies are like 11, 2, 11, 4, 11, 6, 11, 8, then 12, 0, 12, 2, 12, 2, 12, 4, 12, 6. So always tune it to like the two tenths of a second to get it in the fastest part of the lobby. But hey, it's pretty good like this. So let's talk about the overall performance of this car. I'm going to say it's actually pretty good. I do like the car a lot. It's got good top speed. It's got good acceleration. It can be set up for live racing. It's not much of a dyno beater naturally, but besides that, it's a really cool car. It's probably worth getting. The only real problem is the license plate seems to be falling off. So you're probably going to lose the license plate one of these days. So if you come out of your garage one day and you notice it's gone, don't be too upset because, well, it's just kind of hanging off of there by a thread. So that's the main problem with this car is the license plate is ready to fall off. Now, if you can get the car, I think it's totally worth it for upgrading for the live racing setup just because it's a really cool car. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool car. So I do like it. I like it a lot. It's not one of the best cars in the game, but I would say it's definitely what I would consider to be a pretty darn nice car overall. And I think it's worth getting and probably worth upgrading. That'll be personal preference. But yeah, if I got it, if I own this on my account, I would upgrade it for the live racing setup. And I would probably just leave it there and live race it. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you drop down the video's description or the pinned comment, you'll see my Discord server, my other YouTube channels. You'll see affiliate links to help support the channel, plus some other ways to help support the channel as well plus a bunch of game news and information you might be interested in. And uh, yeah, thanks to my channel members. I appreciate you guys big time. If you want to become one, just hit the little join button right below the video. And we will catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Lightning out. Have a great day and see you later. Hope you liked the video.